Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about some important questions for the mid to examination of B triple subject. In the B triple subject for the mid to examination that is third unit part B and the fourth unit and fifth unit. The important questions we will discuss here. In the unit three part B, you have to concentrate on this uh, topic that is draw the VI characteristics of PN junction diode and explain about it. In this question, you have to draw the VI characteristics and explain about the forward bias and reverse bias characteristics and explain about the what is uh, PN junction diode introduction also in this question. Next, explain about the effect of temperature on the diode. In this question, if the temperature increases, what will happen to the diode that you have to explain in this question. These are the long answer questions. Uh, next one is compare the ideal and practical diodes. In this you have to compare what is ideal. First you have to write what is ideal diode and what is practical diode. After that you have to compare ideal and practical diodes with the characteristics. Explain the biasing techniques of the PN junction diode. So in this biasing techniques you have to explain what is forward bias first what is diode after that what is forward bias and what is reverse bias so there are two biasing techniques we are having this biasing technique you have to explain in this biasing techniques of the pn junction diode so these are the long answer questions in the third unit part b now if you see the fourth unit in the fourth unit the fourth unit topic is rectifiers in the rectifier the important questions in the long answer questions for the uh, b triple subject in the unit of rectifiers is draw the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier and explain the operation of the circuit with the relevant waveforms. In this, you have to explain first what is half wave rectifier, after that is circuit diagram and its waveforms and the parameters, relevant waveforms. Thus, you have to explain not the parameters, only up to waveforms you have to explain here next draw the circuit diagram of center tapped full wave rectifier and explain the operation of the circuit with relevant waveforms up to waveforms only you have to explain no need to explain about the parameters if the question is like this next question is draw the circuit diagram of bridge full wave rectifier and explain the operation of the circuit with relevant waveforms this is about the bridge full wave rectifier <laughs> Next, let's explain the following parameters of the half-wave rectifier. If the question is like this, explain about the parameters, then you have to explain about the average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor, and the ripple factor, efficiency, and the transformer utilization factor, and the peak inverse voltage. Okay, these are all the parameters you have to explain. In this, no need to draw the diagram and everything. Just you have to explain directly what is average value and remaining all the parameters. But if the question is like this, then you have to explain about the waveforms only. No need to explain about the parameters. Suppose if the question explain about the half-wave rectifier with its parameters means you have to explain about the waveforms and the circuit diagram as well as the parameters. But if they differentiate like this, explain about up to waveforms, then you have to explain about the waveforms only. If they are separately explain about the parameters, then you have to explain only the parameters. No need to explain about the circuit and the waveforms. This is about the uh, off-wave rectifier and its parameters. Next, next question is, explain the following parameters of the center tapped full-wave rectifier. This is about center tapped full-wave rectifier. The same question, the only the center tapped full-wave rectifier. In this also, you have to explain what is average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor, ripple factor, and the efficiency. Transformer utilization factor and the peak inverse voltage. Up to peak inverse voltage, you have to explain. Next question is explain the following parameters of bridge full wave rectifier. Average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor, ripple factor, and the efficiency, transformer utilization factor, and the peak inverse voltage of bridge full wave rectifier, you have to explain. Okay, for this type of questions, no need to explain about the circuit diagram and the waveforms. Just you have to explain these parameters only. Next one is compare off wave and center tapped full wave and the bridge full wave rectifier. In this, you have to take the table or column that is three partitions, and in that, you have to explain about the off wave, center tapped full wave, and bridge rectifier comparison. Next question is explain about the VI characteristics of GNR diode. 
So this is about the ref. Up to the seventh question, rectifies after the special purpose uh, special purpose devices in the fourth unit only. It is related to fourth unit only. Explain about the VA characteristics of GNR diode. In this, you have to explain what is GNR diode and the diagram of the GNR diode and the forward bias and reverse bias characteristics. Next, explain how the GNR diode acts as a voltage regulator and types of regulations. So in this, you have to explain uh, what is voltage regulator first and GNR diode, uh, sorry, explain why the GNR diode acts as a voltage regulator, you have to explain up, after the types of regulation. In, the, in this, there are two types of regulations are there, line regulation and load regulation. With the diagram, you have to explain. Next, next question is 10 to 1, explain explain the breakdown mechanisms in the semiconductors. Okay, in that there are two breakdown mechanisms are there, avalanche breakdown and the GNR breakdown. About this, you have to explain. Next, explain the VA characteristics of SCR, silicon control rectifier, VA characteristics you have to explain here. Next, explain the VA characteristics of short key diode. You know, this is, these are all the special purpose devices. Okay, there are five special purpose devices are there. About that, you have to explain. First one is a GNI diode. After that, silicon control rectifier, next short key diode. Next, explain about the light emitting diode that is LED and its characteristics. And the last question in the four unit is explain about the solar cell and its characteristics. This GNR diode and the SSCR short key diode, LED, solar cell. These are all the special purpose devices in the four unit. This is about the long answer questions of unit four. These are all the long answer questions of unit four. There are 14 questions are there. Unit 4 questions. Okay, next, if we talk about unit 5 long answer questions in the BEEP subject, explain about the BJT in common emitter configuration and its input and output characteristics. You have to explain what is BJT and what is common emitter configuration with the circuit diagram and input and output equations and input and output characteristics. Up to this, you have to explain. Next question is explain about the BJT in common base configuration and its input and output characteristics. Next question is explain about the BJT that is bipolar junction transistor in common collector configuration and its input and output characteristics. Next question is compare common base and common emitter and common collector configurations. In this you have to explain uh, all the configurations. Common base, common emitter, common collector. You have to explain the about the comparison. Next, explain about the NPN and PNP transistor. In this, you have to draw the diagram of NPN, PNP transistor, and after that, the equations you have to write. Next, give the relation between alpha, beta, gamma. These are the current gains of the common base and common emitter and the common collector configuration. You have to relate what is the relation between alpha and beta, what is the relation between alpha and gamma and all you have to explain here. Explain the concept of transistor as an amplifier. So we know that what is amplifier, why the transistor acts as an amplifier that you have to explain in this question. Net explain the concept of DC load line. Okay, what is the DC load line? What is the use of the DC load line? And everything you have to explain in this question. Explain the concept of DC load line. And the next one is explain the need of biasing. What is the need of biasing? Okay, that you have to explain. Next, explain about the emitter. These are all the biasing circuit. Explain about the emitter feedback bias. This is the one question. And uh, Explain about the collector to emitter feedback bias. This is the one question. And explain about the fixed bias. And explain about the voltage divider bias or the self bias. Okay, in this there are one, two, three, four questions are there. These four questions they will ask separately, not combined. Okay, this is about the unit five long answer questions. Unit five long answer questions of the BEEP subject. Next, we will discuss about the short answer question because the short answers are also very, very important. <coughs> Be triply important questions for mid to examination that is short answer question. The first question is draw the VA characteristics of PN junction diode. In this, you have to just you have to draw the diagram, not 
if, uh, no need to write any matter just you have to draw the va characteristics and indicate the what are the parameters in the diagram in the characteristics next one is draw the va characteristics of germanium and silicon in this you have to combine both germanium and silicon you have to combine both the germanium characteristics and the silicon and you have to combine and you have to draw the just draw the va characteristics not more than that just it is a two marks questions what is cutting voltage of diode Okay, in this you have to explain what is cutting voltage. Cutting voltage is denoted by the which letter and everything you have to write. In this you have to write what is the cutting voltage of germanium diode and silicon diode. In this you have to indicate. Next, what is reverse breakdown voltage of the diode? Next question. This is how you have to explain what is a breakdown agent. Just de definition. The definition you have to write here. What is depletion region? This is the one question. Next one is what is the knee point? Okay, and the next one is what is reverse leakage current? Next, what is the diode current equation? Just you have to write the diode current equation and what are the parameters in the equation that you have to write. Okay. Next one is draw the ideal and practical equivalent symbol for pn junction diode just you have to draw the symbols of the ideal and practical equivalent symbols in the pn junction diode and the next one is define what is drift to current and the what is diffusion current okay these are the short answer questions of unit 3 part b next to unit 4 rectifiers we will discuss our short answers what is rectifier? Just to classify the rectifiers. Classification of rectifiers. Next, to define ripple factor. What is ripple factor? Is denote, which is denoted by the which letter and, and the formula you have to explain this. What is peak inverse voltage? And draw the circuit diagram of bridge rectifier. In this, just you have to write the bridge rectifier circuit diagram. Here also. Draw the circuit diagram of center tap to full bay rectifier. Only diagram you have to draw because it is a short answer question. Draw the circuit diagram of off wave rectifier. Next one is draw the VA characteristics of Gina diode. Just you have to draw the characteristics, not more than that. Why the Gina diode acts as voltage regulator? Okay. Gina diode application is voltage regulator. Why it is access regulator, voltage regulator? Just you have to write in two to three sentences. Draw the VA characteristics of SCR, that is silicon control rectifier. Just you have to draw the VA characteristics. Next one is define efficiency and what is the efficiency of all the rectifiers? All the rectifiers means half wave rectifier or center tap to full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier just any one rectifier they will ask but i mentioned all the rectifiers here define transformer utilization factor and what is the transformer utilization factor of half wave rectifier and center tap to full wave rectifier and the bridge full wave rectifier okay any one they will ask next one is what is transistor and classification of transistor this is unit 5 unit 5 short answer questions these are the unit 5 short answer question in that first one is you have to define what is transistor and after the what are the classification of transistors next one is what is bipolar transistor next what is unipolar transistor with examples you have to write here yeah, with examples here. Examples with, with example. What are the examples of bipolar transistor and what is the examples of unipolar transistor? Then you will get the good marks. Draw the symbols of P and P and N P N transistors. Just you have to draw the symbols, not more than that. Next one is why BJT is called as current control device. Generally, BJT is a current control device. What is the reason that you have to write here? How alpha and beta are related to each other? The relation between alpha and beta, that equation you have to write. Next one is, what is amplifier? Generally, transistor acts as amplifier. What, why, why it is uh, acts as amplifier? And what is amplifier? That you have to write here. Draw the input and output characteristics of common emitter, common base, and common collector configuration. In this, just you have to write, they will ask, 
input and output characteristics of any one configuration, not all the configuration, because it is a short answer question, just common emitter configuration, just input characteristics and the output characteristics, just you have to draw. Or common base and common collector, any one they will ask, not all. Define stability factor. What is stability factor and why? Uh, which letter it is denoted by and what is the formula of the stability factor you have to write here in this question. Next to define what is active region and what is saturation region and what is cutoff region. This is a one more question of unit 5. In this just you have to write the definitions here. In the, in the output characteristic there are three regions. Active region, saturation region and the cutoff region. In this you have to write what is active and what is saturation and what is cutoff region. These are the mid to examination important questions. So all of you concentrate on these questions. Okay.